Hey everybody, this is Terry at KnifeStones.com. I have a skinning knife right here. It's Elk Ridge. And it's just uh, 440 stainless. It's not like a high end knife or anything. It's, uh, it's one of the cheapy knives. But uh, it looks kind of cool. It's got a camo handle and a, a gutting hook. But um, anyway, I'm going to sharpen this. It's not sharp at all because the blade itself is super dull. I dulled it, um, just removing some of the little jaggedy metal bits and whatever that I found on, on the edge. So I basically got it really uh, worthless at this point. There you go. You can see how dull it really is. All right, my purpose of this video here is to show you that um, I can get that to a nice sharp uh, edge in no time at all. What I've got right here is a stone um, that I got from a batch that I call um, rockfish and if you do any deep sea fishing you, you'll know why I called it that it, the skin itself looks like uh, something that that would be on the side of a dark rock fish so I figured it's a cool name for a cool rock this one is uh, KS00058 in case you're interested in purchasing it alright let's get this thing going I'll start by knocking down that dull spot by uh, applying a little pressure on the blade itself. Like I'd say about 10 pounds of pressure because because I really want to perk up that edge before I do anything. Basically, to set the bevel to the edge there. <clears throat> And I'm not worried about style at the moment because all I'm worried about right now is getting all these grooves to eat away at that dull edge and, and bring it to a, a nice sharp edge. So really it's, it's just a matter of pressure. running the blade across the grooves letting the grooves do all the work and all I'm doing is applying the pressure and the motion and the grooves do the rest okay that should have eaten away at quite a bit of metal already okay you can see there's black water that's all metal bits and let's go ahead and wipe it there you go bunch of metal let's, let's see what's on the rock I'll try to get that sheen to show up there you go all that metal right there along the grooves I'm going to wipe all that out <coughs> a lot of the grooves this napkin, plenty of metal, which is what I want to see. Okay, let's take a look at where we're at. Wow, that's incredible. That has already, just, just in that little bit of time, revitalized that edge. It's pretty amazing. I mean, it's, it's not sharp, sharp, but it's, it's it's starting to get there. It seems to be a lot of work yet to do. So I'm going to take it at a particular. I'm going to get you into the frame here. All right. Um, I'm pushing really hard, and the grooves run this way. So I'm going to take the blade at an angle, and I'm going to pull it. 
towards me this way like that but with quite a bit of pressure but you got to be careful when you're doing this because if your blade slips off the rock and, and you're pulling it it's coming at you so be sure your hands and other extremities are not near what you're doing here because that's an accident waiting to happen especially since you're applying pressure to get the blade back to where it needs to be you can go this route here repetitive strokes to the left side of the blade and that's the right go. Alright. Well, that's just a ton, ton of metal coming off. Oh yeah. Alright, let's see where we're at with the blade here. Uh, it's not as bad as it was, that's for sure. You can still see how dull it is, but it's not as dull. So there was quite a bit of metal to be removed. We just got to keep going. All right. Sorry for the interruption. A phone call came in, and let's get back to where we were. All right. We're still trying to work on this edge. It needs a lot of work. But my stone, all of my stones can take this down, take the edge to where it needs to be. All right, let's continue. Here, let me, for those of you who are unfamiliar with my rocks, let me see here. See if I can get there. There you go. See the grooves there? I've got ridges, grooves, ridges, whatever you want to call them, all the way across the surface of the rock. And you use those to eat away at the the metal. Okay. <clears throat> and that's what I'm doing. I'm taking the blade and I'm running it across those grooves and each groove it hits removes metal so if you're applying quite a bit of pressure on the blade or on the rock with the blade that metal is going to come screaming off of the blade because of, of how aggressive the material is um, on the from which the rock is is comprised um, all of my rocks are, are made of uh, some pretty hard, aggressive uh, materials based on the type of rock they are. <clears throat> they're, they're not, it's not soft like sandstone. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty hard. And this particular one um, definitely has some serpentine in it and all these inclusions in here, little spots and and all that. Um, that's that looks to be like um, some serpentine and s some other. Uh, not it's not even quartz. It's it's something else. It's uh, it could all just be serpentine in, in just different st stages. This this whole rock. So I, I don't have any chemical analysis of it, nor am I planning on getting one. Um, it's just based on, uh, you know. Still working on this edge. Let me show you what I mean about the angle here. If I can make it happen here. All right. This is the knife flat against the surface. I'm going to try to get this rock right in line there. Okay. There we go. Okay. To 
get it flush, you're talking, let me try to see it, this as well, about right there. That, that'll get it flush. Let me see if I can get closer. Right there. And that's quite an angle. That's that's about <coughs> that's about 35 degrees, pushing 40 almost. I think uh, I'll I'll stick with 25-30. Uh, I can't really gauge too accurately, but around there somewhere before that edge becomes flush. So that's the key. Take your knife, lay it flat, have a really close look at it before you start honing. Determine where you need to be. Because if I, if I, for instance, went 15 degrees, I'm just polishing near the edge and I'm not going to get anywhere. But you have to definitely establish at what angle that blade touches the stone and that's the, that's the angle you're going to be working with okay <clears throat> and I, I didn't do that in the beginning and I should have and that probably would have saved me half of this video uh, I could have been polishing rather than than honing this you know half the time but now that I'm aware of exactly the angle that I need to be that's what I'm going to do. Go at that angle. From the tip along the curve to about right there, it bites really nice. You, you could feel that. It has a nice grip. So basically the, the top portion is done, or at least I think it is. Just a little bit of fine honing towards the bottom where the trouble was. Most of the dullness was when we first started doing this. I gotta, again, ensure I have the right angle or I'm wasting my time. And I could have wasted quite a bit of time because I, I didn't think about that. I just figured, hey, 15 degrees applies to all knives, but no, it doesn't. <clears throat> okay. Alrighty, let's see. Let me have a feel here. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and attempt some shaving here. A little more. A little more than I will. Alright, let's see what happens. <coughs> Move everything out of the way. And let's spray a little water on my arm. I'm going to run out of hair if I keep doing this, but I guess that's what happens. Okay. Let's, let's go for it. Okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's just amazing. A little more work towards the bottom, just a little bit, not much, but from, from about this point all the way to the front, which is almost the entire knife, I think we're good. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. That's, that's all coming up. Definitely. Okay. Well, there we go. Took a while, but, and, you know, as far as down this area here, 
towards the last part. It's sharp, um, not quite hair sharpening, uh, hair shaving sharp, um, but we know that another minute or so of, of honing will get me there. And uh, I'll go ahead and end the video here. And that was just a demonstration of taking a really dull knife with not the most ideal edge, not my favorite type of edge, maybe you guys love this type of grind, um, and taking it to hair shaving sharp with with my one stone here that's a part of the, the rockfish batch rockfish uh, it's a batch of five stones I've got one or actually two over over a pound um, and the rest are just right at around a pound just a little under these are so cool <clears throat> I'm just really fortunate to be able to find these and offer these to you guys. Anyway, <clears throat> there's the <clears throat> serial number, the the uh, item number, whatever you want to call it. Not the serial number, I guess. Invoice number. And I've got four more from this batch, aside from this one. So if you like it, go for it. You, you can't go wrong. You, you really can't go wrong. As far as are the grooves still there, they're definitely still there. So it didn't wear hardly anything out. I don't. I don't feel any wear at all. It seems uh, all the grooves seem still there. <coughs> oh yeah, just got to take a lot of the uh, swarf off of the, off of the the grooves. You got to clean them up, or you're going to have a glazing issue so clean up all the metal when you're done and you should be good to go alright guys this is Terry at knifestones.com if you like what you saw and you like the stone or I've got plenty of other ones go for it make the purchase you will not regret it you, you'll, you, you will experience the same thing that I experience every day and that's just the sheer amazement of how sharp my knives get just off of one stone without any progressive pro progression system or, or you know three or four or five stones but rather just one stone does the trick alright guys talk to you later